So you want to get up and running fast with Obsidian MD. You're in the right place. You're going to be doing it in about three seconds. See you there. Hey, greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to About Archie. Of course, if you haven't been here before, I am Archie. And today we are going to take a look at Obsidian. Uh, all we're interested in today, though, is a quick start guide to get you up. So 10 minutes from now, you are flying high with your new Obsidian install. Uh, we're going to get you going and give you a very brief explanation about what it's uh, of what it's about. Subsequent videos that you'll be able to go to as soon as you're done this one and you're set up, you can choose specifically in those subsequent videos that I will be creating what you want to go learn about next. So um, the quick start guide to Obsidian. Uh, now the first thing you want to know, remember is that it's obsidian.md is where you'll find this, not obsidian.com or .net or .org org or any of those things it is MD as in markdown which uh, if you don't know the significance of that now you will soon okay so go to obsidian.md you will see a screen just like you see on my screen right now and you it will have this big purple square in the middle it will likely default to whatever your operating system is as uh, mine has I'm currently on the my Windows system so it's defaulted to the Windows system you can click on that big purple uh, rectangle and the magic of the internet will give you a free copy of Obsidian. And note, this is uh, this is one of the great things about Obsidian, although there are ways you can contribute and support the effort uh, that they are putting into this. Uh, it is free and it has, the free version has basically 99% of what Obsidian is all about. Um, it's not... Um, hacked down or severely limited or you don't know you only get three notes and they disappear in three days none of that stuff you get the whole pretty much the whole deal with some slight things you can add later on if you so choose okay so click on the uh, click on that download obsidian from obsidian md and uh, uh, install your file and uh, this is what you're going to come to let me just show you right over here I believe that should be it right there. Okay, so in the middle of my screen, you'll see, actually, I think I'll just open, uh, I'll open my demo and I will uh, open that on top of it. Okay, so just focus on this squ square section in the middle, a square a window here and uh, ignore the left, focus on the center stuff. And there are three options here. Uh, one is um, to, let me just adjust a little something here. Uh, sorry, actually first, yeah, you're going to give your vault a name. Now, if you don't know what a vault is, don't freak out. It's just uh, a vault is just like, uh, it's like your filing cabinet. It's like the biggest box stuff will go in that you put your folders and your notes into. Uh, if you're used to something like Notion, it's kind of like a workspace. You're going to create a vault, give it a name, whatever you want. Uh, call it Pinocchio if you want. Uh, uh, that's not the main, uh, the main uh, thing here. The main thing is that you give it a, n a name and it ideally should be uh, have some kind of meaning to you, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. And very important, right below where you give the vault a name, you choose a location to store it in. One of the things that's special about Obsidian is that you can store it locally. You don't have to put it up into the, into the cloud. Yes, there are many benefits to the cloud, but sometimes we don't want our private personal information up there. We have stuff that we want to keep only locally. So choose a local file for now, uh, unless you really want to put it, say, on Dropbox. But for now, it might be good just to start on your own computer, uh, select a location, browse to a location, and uh, create your new vault. Now, as you can see, I have created my new vault up in the upper left. You see it says Demo Vault there. So the next thing we want to cover is just these You'll see there's three icons up here in the upper left. The center one is the folder. Not particularly important to know about right now. It's a normal folder. Some people use them. I use them. Many people feel that they don't need them in Obsidian. You use something called backlinks to connect your ideas. Although you can use folders, you can use tags as well. The backlinks are the heart of what Obsidian does that makes it special. So use folders or don't use folders. Don't worry about it too much for now. You are going, there's going to be an evolution 
here as you begin to use this of how your own personal system evolves and how it works well for you. The most important is the icon on the left and that's very simply uh, a new note icon. Click on it and you now have a new note. Go down here or actually go up there and click and give it whatever you want. My big fat happy, where are we? Happy note. Okay, so now you've got a note. You click down there. It now appears uh, in your uh, index here or in your, um, your uh, sidebar. And then you've got an insertion point flashing up there. And you can just type uh, what... whatever you can spell. Okay, so and there, you've basically got a note. Now, later on, we'll talk about Markdown and, uh, and uh, what's happening with that and how you can format it. But remember in Obsidian, although there is formatting you can do, the real emphasis, the magic of this program is the interconnectivity of ideas and knowledge. And you will begin to see how that all works very quickly. Okay, so we've got our notes. You can put text, images, links, all that stuff in here, obviously. Um, and again, backlinks, which we will discuss in a, in a uh, subsequent uh, subsequent video. The one other thing we'll quickly run over for the quick start guide is look on the bottom left hand side of your screen. You see these three icons. The first one, of course, is your good old settings, which you can do many things. You'll see all these choices down here. We will get into those again in subsequent videos, which you can go to as soon as you're uh, set up and ready to go and have a basic understanding. You see there are things that really simple things, for example, in appearance here we have under our base theme, we have dark and light choice but it gets much more complex than that. You can keep Obsidian simple or you can really go down the rabbit hole with it if you want. And again, there will be a subse subsequent video leading you to all the really good resources should you decide you really want to go down that rabbit hole. So that's your settings is one of these three icons. The next one is help. Pretty much speaks for itself. You get stuck, you get a question, you're trying to figure something out, go to the help file. And lastly, that one at the top is open another vault. And you'll see this just looks like the, uh, the one I opened to get us started where I, we created a new vault. You can create another new vault. Uh, you can open the help vault. You can do a variety of things in here. And that is those three icons. I think really um, that will get you uh, started. That will get you up and running. You are an official Obsidian person, okay? And uh, we'll get into markdown and tags and all that good stuff uh, a little later on. I'll even do a video on what Obsidian is if you don't know yet. But if you don't know yet, you probably wouldn't be, um, be at the quick start guide. Anyway, that's all good. You are now official. You have gone through the quick start guide. You can now go to the other videos and select what it is you want to learn about next. Awesome having you. Don't forget to click on this and subscribe and do all that stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. <coughs> Sorry about that. Later, people.